7 Reasons Why You Should Read, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, is a self-help book by Canadian author Robin Sharma. It was first published in 1997 and since then has been a bestseller in the personal development genre. The book tells the story of Julian Mantle, a successful lawyer who suffers a heart attack at the peak of his career. After recovering from his heart attack, Julian embarks on a spiritual journey to find the true meaning of life. The book is divided into two parts. The first part describes Julian's journey to enlightenment, while the second part provides practical steps for readers to implement in their own lives to achieve personal and professional success. The book is well written and easy to read, making it accessible to a wide range of readers. In this review, I will provide an overview of the book and discuss some of the lessons I learned from reading it. Overview of the book The book begins with the story of Julian Mantle, a highly successful lawyer who works long hours and is always stressed out. One day, while in court, he suffers a heart attack and collapses. Julian is rushed to the hospital and undergoes emergency surgery. After his recovery, Julian realizes that his life is out of balance and he needs to make some changes. Julian decides to leave his successful law practice and embarks on a spiritual journey to India to seek the wisdom of the sages. While in India, Julian meets a group of monks who teach him the principles of mindfulness, meditation, and self-discipline. Julian spends several years in India, learning from the monks and practicing their teachings. When Julian returns to Canada, he shares his newfound wisdom with his friend and former colleague, John, who is struggling with his own life. Julian tells John about the seven virtues of enlightened living, which he learned from the monks in India. Lessons from the book The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari is a book that is packed with valuable lessons on how to live a fulfilling life. Here are some of the lessons that I learned from reading this book. Lesson number one. Master your mind. One of the key lessons in the book is the importance of mastering your mind. Julian Mantle learns from the monks in India that the mind is like a garden and must be cultivated in order to grow. Your mind is like a garden. If you cultivate weeds, you will reap weeds. If you cultivate flowers, you will reap flowers. This means that we must be mindful of the thoughts that we allow into our minds and consciously choose positive and uplifting thoughts. Lesson number two. Follow your purpose. Another important lesson in the book is the importance of following your purpose in life. Julian Mantle learns that true happiness comes from living a life of purpose and meaning, rather than simply chasing material possessions and external success. Quote from the book, everyone has a purpose in life, a unique gift or special talent to give to others. And when we mix this unique talent with service to others, we feel the ecstasy and elation of our spirit, which is the ultimate goal of all goals. Lesson number three. Practice Kaizen. The book also teaches the importance of continuous improvement, or Kaizen. Julian Mantle learns that we must constantly strive to improve ourselves, both personally and professionally. This means setting goals and working towards them every day, even if the progress is small. To emphasize this lesson the quote from the book, small daily improvements are the key to staggering long-term results. Lesson number four. Live with discipline. Living with discipline is another important lesson in the book. Julian Mantle learns that discipline is the key to success in all areas of life. This means creating daily routines and sticking to them, even when it is difficult or uncomfortable. Lesson number five. Respect your time. Another important lesson in the book is the importance of respecting your time. Julian Mantle learns that time is our most valuable resource and we must use it wisely. This means prioritizing our time and saying no to activities that do not align with our goals and values. Time is your most precious gift because you only have a set amount of it. You can make more money, but you can't make more time. When you give someone your time, you are giving them a portion of your life that you'll never get back. Your time is your life. That is why the greatest gift you can give someone is your time. Lesson number six. Selflessly serve others. The book also teaches the importance of serving others. Julian Mantle learns that true happiness comes from serving others and making a positive impact on the world. This means being kind, compassionate, and empathetic towards others, and using our skills and talents to help others. 
The quality of your life ultimately depends on the quality of your relationships. Give more than you can and do it selflessly. True happiness comes from giving without expecting anything in return. Lesson number 7. Embrace the present. Finally, the book teaches the importance of living in the present moment. Julian Mantle learns that the past is gone and the future is uncertain, so the only moment that truly matters is the present moment. This means being fully present and engaged in the activities that we are doing, rather than constantly worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. Quote from the book, Yesterday is a cancelled check. Tomorrow is a promissory note. Today is cash in hand. Spend it wisely. In conclusion, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari is a valuable book that provides practical advice on how to live a fulfilling life. The book is well written, easy read and there are no difficult words. This makes it accessible to a wide range of readers. The Seven Virtues of Enlightened Living provide a useful framework for readers to implement in their own lives. By mastering our minds, following our purpose, practicing Kaizen, living with discipline, respecting our time, selflessly serving others, and embracing the present moment, we can live a life of true happiness and fulfillment. I would highly recommend this book to anyone who is looking for inspiration and guidance on how to live a more fulfilling life.